So, so I think what we might do next is we might look to, to jump into the back end and just give a, a bit of a view about how we can, can quickly update uh, these dashboards if, if you have something new that you want to add and, and how easy it is to just uh, make these adjustments on the fly and have them update uh, essentially in real time. So what I might do is, James, if you drop your screen, I'll, I'll pop mine up and we'll, we'll jump into the builder. Yep, I'm just doing this now. So the, the example that, that we're about to go through is, is one where um, maybe Braden, someone has asked, hey coach, you know, I, I don't want to have these variables on my screen anymore. I want to have these, I want to have different variables or, or you go about wanting to, to make an update or a change to the dashboard. In real time, this is how, how quickly someone like Braden or someone within your own organization can go, okay, we need to make this change um, and we need to make this change quickly. Let's go about doing it. So Braden's just going to talk us through some elements of our dashboard builder, which allows us to make real changes in, in real time. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll refresh my dashboard on, on my page and you'll be able to see the changes that Braden has made. So talk us through some of the changes you're making here, mate. So, so what I'm doing at the moment is the, the chart that we had, the lean muscle mass um, chart in the anthropometry tab, um, it was good. We had the, the, the body mass um, bars as well as the lean muscle mass uh, lines. So just, just as a, a little bit of background information, uh, in the, the dashboard builder, which is what I'm in now, this is where I can make the edits to our, um, to our dashboards. What we can currently see is just some example data. Um, it's just preview. It's not any of the real data that we see of the athletes. It's just going to be an indication of how this chart might look. So this chart, we, it was missing some of that key information that I explained. So if I jump back into um, our other physical screening tab, we can see that we had that good um, average excellent, that, that information that really drives uh, the athletes to understand what they're looking at. So I'm starting to add that into our lean muscle mass um, chart here. So what I was adding first is our custom grid lines. So we can see those lines going across. Uh, and next up, I'm just going to be adding some regions. Uh, what this does is it allows us to have that color that sits uh, in the background. Um, so that it starts to make a bit of sense. Sure, the, the lines are cool. If we can add in some, some color, it starts to make it a little bit more informative as well. I'm just gonna be doing a couple of these. Um, I'm setting the, the start and, and end ranges of these, um, of these regions. So these are completely customizable, configurable to each uh, to each chart you want to be looking at. Uh, James, it looks like you're on mute, mate. Sorry, guys. Just as Braden's making those changes there, I'll just speak to some environments where they, they do have quite a culture of um, whether it be wellness check-ins or whether it be self-reported um, training load or, or training session diaries, what they've done. So where you have these, where you have this culture within your organization where you're telling your athletes, hey, can you please jump on and fill, fill out your wellness? Or hey, can you please jump on and, and fill out your training diary? You know, this type of value add for your athletes, giving them back the information that they're putting into the system has seen some tremendous engagement. What, what I'll look to do is, is share with you a presentation from the Australian Institute of Sport. That was one of their key drivers when they first started was to look at how can we get our athletes really coming into our app because they really valued the, the wellness piece and they really valued the, the training load piece. So they wanted their athletes to, to come in and in their words, be addicted to their data. So they put a lot of effort into, okay, how can we make, how can we give our athletes so much value that they can't help but come into this environment? I can just see Braden's made making a few changes here. Um, moving things around again, you can just see some of the, the power of the dashboard builder and how quickly we can make these changes. Braden, if you just want to go ahead and hit save on that, I'll, we'll jump back to my screen and we'll, yep. we'll refresh those, those changes. So just pulling my screen up again, um, I, I still have yet to refresh. So we can see I'm still on that dashboard that I was before, the anthropometry overview, the information here, that, that lean muscle mass, um, chart that Braden was the widget that Braden was modifying is still as it was I go about hitting uh, refresh 
And what we'll see here is those changes made from, from Braden in, in real time here. So again, just a nice little way. We've heard some feedback throughout our, um, our webinars that you know, we reference these changes that we can do uh, quite a bit, but we haven't actually showed you how we do it. So uh, we just wanted to go through, use this webinar as a way to go through some math and engagement examples, but also show you how quickly we can modify and, and put in your own information, your own data and your own tweaks in real time. So we can see these grid lines um, reflected here perfectly. Thank you, Braden, and, and some of the movement he's done here with these top tiles. Thank you.